this video we are fixing an error that f1 flight simulator x uh, in windows 10 users who long to run software from windows xp and earlier in windows 10 cannot do so using a feature called compatibility mode on microsoft answers users explained that they were attempting to run flight simulator x a popular pc game that they used on windows in 2006 the operating system at the time could have been Windows XP or Windows Vista, which was released in November of that year. So using compatibility mode, a user intending to run Flight Simulator X can do so. If the method does not work, there are numerous other methods, including an explanation for how to update your computer graphic card driver, which could solve the problem. So here are the methods which we can try to uh, run our Flight Simulator X on Windows 10. The very first method is to use compatibility mode. So before beginning this process, it's important to have Flight Simulator X installed on your computer. You can do this by installing it from your ori original CD or purchasing a new one online. Once it is installed, press Start key. Find the application and then drag it to your desktop. Let's take an example of Steam from this computer. So once you have the shortcut, right click on it and open its properties. In the properties page, go to compatibility tab and then you can either run the compatibility troubleshooter or you can also enable this option to run this program in compatibility mode for the best known operating system for uh, which Flight Simulator X worked or any other program that you're having trouble with uh, in terms of compatibility you can try different operating system from here so we select Windows XP Service Pack 3 from here and then you can also select this operating system by looking at if you have the CD available with you or the information file that you downloaded with the game installation media. If they have any recommended operating system, you can select that operating system from here and then you can click on apply and then click on OK. Once it is done, try to run your game and see if that works. If it doesn't, then you can use they run in borderless window mode. Some users that are running the game in borderless window mode can solve the problem. To do this, you need to press Alt and enter on your keyboard while the game is running. Your window should become borderless and you may be able to play the game without any issue and even exit the game without the shutting down issue that is sometimes reported by Windows 10 users. The third method that we have is to switch on anti-aliasing. While running Flight Simulator X, click the Settings tab on the left, click the Customize button at the bottom of the window and look for anti-aliasing. Now check the anti-aliasing button and press OK to save your changes as you can see on this screenshot. Restart your Flight Simulator X to see if it resolves the problem. Our fourth option is to update graphic cards driver. Press Windows and Next key and see if you can get to Control Panel. If not, you can also go to Device Manager. In Device Manager, go to your Display Adopters. Right click on your Display Adopter, whichever is default, and click on Update Drivers. From here, click on Search Automatically for Update Driver Software and let this wizard search for the best drivers it can look on Internet. Wait for this wizard to get completed. Once it is done, close all the windows and restart your computer. 
Once your computer is back online, open Flight Simulator X and see if the problem is resolved. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.